you're listening to independent tv7 kindly click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel at independent tv7 also don't forget to click the bell icon to get more notification thanks for watching yeah this is a secret connection uh, between malami and extraordinary rendition uh, this is coming you know from uh, uh, alloy ejimako they were talking about uh, the extradition of uh, Namdekano all the way from uh, Kenya uh, down to Nigeria. Uh, uh, they say it's uh, the way Namdekano was extradited according to uh, the uh, English extradition. Uh, it's wrong. Uh, they shouldn't tell us that Namdekano was extradited. Rather, they should say Namdekano uh, was kidnapped. Uh, Namdekano was being kidnapped from Kenya uh, down to uh, Nigeria uh, in a you know in an an in an absurd uh, manner uh, and there uh, is how much attorney general malami loved the tradition and hated extraordinary rendition until 19 june uh, 2021 uh, uh, back in the day when i was in law school in america uh, one of my favorite uh, professors used to reportedly tell us that there is a fine uh, line between good legal research and investigative journalism he told us that one day we would find it useful uh, useful uh, so as legal practitioners uh, to remove the gap of a lawyer and I done that of an investigative journalist and that it might pay off recently I remember uh, that uh, the erudite professor and decided uh, to indulge myself in a little bit of uh, investigative uh, journalism of the internet uh, kind yeah that is coming from uh, a lawyer Ejimako, for those that do not know who Aloy Ejimako is, he uh, is one of uh, Namdekano's uh, counsel, uh, he's a lawyer, uh, so he's one of uh, uh, Namdekano's advocates, you know, advocating for the indigenous people of Biafra, you know. Uh, well, uh, the topic of uh, interest uh, was also uh, that extraordinary rendition, the abominable legal concept that is currently generating constant public interest in Nigeria on a hunch. Is zeroed in a in an official Nigeria. Okay, I would say uh, when uh, lawyers you know start coughing law or start speaking English, you should listen very very uh, vividly so that you could get uh, and disseminate informations uh, from them. Uh, according to A.G. Mako, in due course, uh, my hunch paid off. In particular, I discovered that Nigeria's chief law officer. According to uh, the title that has been given to him, Attorney General Abubakar Malami, senior advocate of Nigeria, has long had a secret connection with extraordinary rendition in more ways than one below uh, the details. In 2016, the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime published a scholarly project uh, document in a 691 page colorful. Uh, compendium uh, titled Cases and Materials on Extradition in Nigeria. Uh, the highly celebrated uh, publication was accomplished with the assistance of the European Union, the Federal High Court, and several lawyers uh, from the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation. Uh, the highly co collaborative project uh, comprised of learned jurists who uh, pivoted on the extradition and its guardian varieties, including particularly extraordinary rendition, which the uh, compendium uh, discussed with evident disapproval. Uh, Attorney General of the Federation, AGF Malami, who had endorsed the project, wrote in the forward to the published uh, compendium that uh, the compendium uh, consists of constitutional uh, provisions, legislation, subsidiary legislation, judicial pronouncements, uh, treaties, and uh, other international instruments on extradition as they relate to Nigeria. Uh, this is how Malami uh, negative connection with extraordinary rendition started. But this is a tip of the iceberg. Uh, the iceberg lies in the introduction to the compendium, uh, which I shall uh, here under reproduce uh, verse, uh, verbatim. And now read on. It is easy to confuse extradition with uh, rendition. Rendition is a general term for all procedures, including extradition for returning wanted persons or aliens generally from a state unlawful or irregular forms of uh, returning persons wanted for trial or punishment include abduction and the so-called extraordinary rendition extraordinary rendition is a government-sponsored arrest kidnap and abductions of uh, persons wanted 
and also accused or convicted of a criminal offense either uh, to the state who sponsored the arrest kidnap of uh, abduction also a willing third party state extraordinary rendition denies a person of the right to challenge his transfer to the requesting or receiving state it involves the violation of the principles uh, of international law especially where the persons transferred are subjected to torture or sham uh, criminal charges or trials the Dico affair of 1984 uh, is an example of an attempt at unlawful redemption. After a coup a coup d'etat in 1983, the federal military government on, of Nigeria requested the British government to surrender Umar Dico, a former minister alleged to have been involved in corrupt practices. Uh, before the British uh, government responded to the request, an intelligence officer from the Nigerian security forces with uh, three Israeli nationals abducted Mr. Diko and attempted to cargo him to Nigeria in a crate. Uh, this attempt was foiled by the British security apparatus. Uh, the abductors were jailed and the relationship between Nigeria and Britain became uh, strained. Even though not successful, it was an attempt by Nigeria to go against the international norms in expressing its political uh, will. Yeah, according to Aloy Ejimako, in concluding his foreword to the compendium, uh, Malami stated that uh, it is a very good resource material on extradition and it is therefore my pleasure to recommend the cases and materials on extradition in Nigeria to all and sundry for use in identifying the position of extradition law in Nigeria. Malami did not stop there. He underscored his abiding commitment to the uh, due process of extradition, as opposed to the illegality and abomination of extraordinary rendition by deploying some of the finest uh, lawyers in the Federal Ministry of Justice, uh, his office to the project. Uh, not done, Malami went on to profusely thank uh, the United Nations for its uh, technical support to the Federal Ministry of Justice for the review of laws, a uh, development of policy instruments, and uh, also capacity building for staff of the Ministry in extradition law related areas. And there, uh, uh, it has been said that um, uh, how much Attorney General Malami loved extradition and hated extraordinary rendition on the 19th of June uh, 2021. Uh, I need you to think about it and let us puzzle uh, it as Malami has been so very very, very unlawful. Now, I always say in my article uh, that Malami, uh, in his state of mind, he believes uh, uh, because he has been given a title or he has been given uh, a post, uh, he believes he could do whatever he wishes uh, to do. They're like uh, what the United Nations have just done uh, by you know uh, coming in in, in Americano's case, you know, by you know. Uh, asking uh, some pertinent questions and uh, which uh, I would you know uh, relate one of the questions uh, how Namdekano really jumped bill because they said Namdekano jumped uh, bill and uh, what were the reasons why he jumped bill and uh, why will he jump bill because he was being you know charged of a treasonable felony or thereabout uh, but at the long run Namdekano jumped bill so we all know the reason why he jumped bill so the question has gone through uh, the federal government uh, which is represented by Malamim, the attorney general of the federation so they have every answer you know to give uh, to the united uh, nations so that uh, justice will prevail